Today on The Spiel. Fantastic debut novel, great crime story, loved it. Five out of five stars. You know you got a good author. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. Nat Williams here with us, and the name of the book is Fire Blight. And I tell you what, we are now big fans of the chef that you see here, and noted chef um, Adam Colon. I have been watching him work, and apparently he's done a lot of things in his his small time here on Earth. Huh? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Doesn't feel like this is over. It's only just began. Had so much fun being sober. Getting tattoos on my head. This is the spiel. I'm here today and all I hear is how I'm chasing crazy dreams. They'll see, cause I've got perfect songs and melodies just waiting to come out of me. And you'll sing along like, oh, whoa. Fancy words, clever lines and tales that take you back in time. And you'll sing along like, oh, They should have believed in me. Should have believed, baby. And welcome to the spiel. As you can see, I have my co host back. Now, have you seen last week's show? You have? Of course. I always watch the content. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. I had Alec as a co host. You know I what? We've got to stop talking about him so much. He's going to take the whole show as a co host. Stacy. That's right. I had two co-hosts. Yes, how they do. Because it takes two to replace you. You know what? Wasn't that nice? That is so sweet. I know. And I didn't even pay you to say that. I know. And let me tell you something. That's they very did, sweet. They did a great job. Yeah. They I did heard. a great And I, I, I feel that way. Job. I mean, I heard great things leading up. So anytime yeah. you feel the need to fly off somewhere, it, it's it covered. covered. Yeah. Well, it's you covered. can't do that too many times because what'll happen mm -hmm. when you fly off and you think you're coming back, they're like, there's no need for you to come back. Well, we were well, almost done. there last week, weren't we? We kind of thought Everybody's we had this. nodding, yes. So. But I got some really cool things I want to tell you about. Okay. Okay. This is really cool stuff. I love cool. Okay. I love cool. I'm still, by the way, my mind is still blown from several weeks ago, dude. Okay. I don't even the mind reading thing, if this show doesn't work out, you've got a you've got like a Vegas thing. I mean, I, I would pay to see that. You would? Ah, you gotta see what I'm working on now during my, you know, schooling on the internet and magic. Only I'm going to make you disappear Only someday. <laughs> yeah, and then I get my co-host back. Okay, ready? Yes. Okay. And you were so sweet One for a second. bolt of lightning has enough energy to toast 100,000 pieces of bread. Isn't that good? No one said I, a word. I don't even, I don't know if I feel enlightened. It gets better. It just gets better. Not that you might, not that you would even ever have that as a trivia question. But uh, let me get the number again. So one bolt. Uh-huh. We'll toast 100,000 pieces of bread. Okay. Just, just in case you And what circumference or radiance? Do they all, radiant, do they all, all have to be? Don't ask questions. That's all I have on it. Okay. Right. Okay. The but I have this. Of, of that many pieces of bread. This one will blow your mind. Ready? Do you know who invented the Frisbee? <sighs> Fido. Okay. No. Frederick, Frederick Morrison. <laughs> when he died, he still wanted his family to play with him, toss him, play with him. And his ashes are in, it's a Frisbee. And his Dude, family you know takes how, him out there on a Sunday. You Dad! know how dangerous that is. Then you have Fido that runs along. It's like, <laughs> there goes Frederick or whatever. It's like, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, that's true. That's, you know what? These are little, little things that- little tidbits. I don't think I ever would have asked this question in an entire lifetime or gotten the answer. So I feel accomplished. Who knows this? You know the tweet, the little bird that we all tweet? Where did it get, what's its name and where'd they get it? It has a name. Bluebird. No, no. It's called Larry. Did it's you? from Larry Bird from the Boston Celtics. In no way. Yes, it is. Larry what? Bird owns Twitter or they just use his that. trademark? Yeah, the trademark. Do, did you know this? So the Twitter bird is called Larry. Larry. And did Larry Bird ever use that emblem? I told you, I just have a little information. You can't go beyond that, thing. okay. But this one here is going to blow Larry your mind. Bird, thank you for the little tweet. How about that? Twit, Twitter. Okay, let me find tweet. his name. Larry. No. I'll never look at it the same. Another Frederick. Frederick, and I don't know how you pronounce it, B-A-U-R. Is it 
Bauer. Uh, this one goes back kind of to death. Wait a minute, wait, wait. He invented the Pringles can, the, the idea, the concept oh, yeah. between. That's good. Yeah. Okay, ready? His ashes were, he wanted his ashes in a Pringles can. And you know shot what flavor? To space. You know how many flavors there are? Sour cream and onion. No, he wanted just the original. Original. So, so he's the Sprinkles. in the original, and the other Frederick is a Frisbee. You know, I can relate to this because you remember years ago on a show what I have instructed the audience and you what I would like to have happen to myself here. Yes. You know, when I'm done with this body, this earthly body. I know what it is. It's I do not want to leave behind a tomb. I want to leave behind a tree. 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 I don't know if they're going to go along with it because of regulations or whatever, but I think we just dig. And I really don't. I mean, if you have to send me into that hole and sit around, you do that. But here's what I would prefer. Just dig the hole deep enough and you put me in, like entirely. I just want to go in. And then I would just be the fertilizer and you put the tree on top. But my luck, make sure it's a big enough tree because somebody's going to mow it down. And no, then here's what I'm worried about. What? Be sure that you stress don't put you in a dog park. You know what dogs do to trees? I got it. That's good. Hey, we had a good show. Thank you so much. Yeah, excellent work. I mean, it's going to get better from here. Stay tuned. Coming up on the spiel. This is a uh, murder mystery and police procedural, and so I was concerned about making it uh, authentic, and so I turned to some people that I know, a lawyer and who used to be a state's attorney, now a criminal defense attorney, okay, and also a former sheriff. Coming up later in the show. I got a lot of my uh, tradition and stuff from my Puerto Rican side of the family. Okay. Because uh, that's the kind of food I'll be cooking for you guys today. Is that nice. your specialty? Yes, yes. I, I mean, I like to call it uh, the Spanish Spanish food because it's not that's just it. Puerto Rican. I like okay. doing tacos and enchiladas and tamales and all those things as Aww. well. So. My name is Carrie Southern. I'm a mortgage loan officer with the Bank of Heron. I've had a borrower that I actually never met until I got to the closing table. Everything was done electronically and it's like when we got to the closing table, it's like we gave each other a hug. It was like, oh, I feel like I know you. So just accommodating different people and whatever their needs are and to just make it as easy as possible on them. Find us at bankofheron.com or come and see us at any of our locations. The automobile accidents and when you get hurt at work, those insurance companies are in business for one thing. They're in business to make money. We deal with insurance companies who make their money by holding on to it as long as possible. My real heart and soul is helping people who've been injured, workers' comp, serious injuries, where their lives are just shattered. Insurance companies are going to try and take advantage. My job then is to come in and make sure we get them fair settlements. Our goal is to have people return to us satisfied and happy. They have problems and you can help them solve those problems. Hi, my name is Dr. Ashley Cater McCoy and I'm a pediatrician here. To help patients feel welcome, especially over time with the kids, we get to know them as they grow and their parents. And then just being available to answer questions or phone calls when they have medical concerns. It's a very much community clinic. We have patients that bring us cookies. We'll take up collections for patients when we know that they're having problems. So I think that's what it means to be a community. It's important for all patients of any age to have a location they know that no matter if they can pay or have insurance, that they can still come and get the medical care that they need. Well, the must have is somebody that knows what they're doing. Brian and his crew are just fabulous. His craftsmanship is just incredible. He's very good to work with. He gave me the look that I wanted. He does the job right, and it's done right the first time. Professional all the way. They work with you. We needed a building that was professional looking, very durable, functional, and Brian fulfilled all those needs. They show up. They put their heart and soul into this. I wouldn't have used anybody else. I've had very good success with him, and, and the ones I've sent, they've had success too. Uh, my name is Megan. I'm a surgical technology student at Shawnee Community College. Basically, you're studying to be the surgeon's right-hand man. Set up the OR, sterilize instruments, products. It's a very serious program. They take their core courses at their main campuses. Then they come to this location here in Heron uh, to take the occupational therapy assistant, the surgical technology, and the medical lab technology classes. A lot of times, students will have jobs right out of completing the program.
You know when they say things like fantastic debut novel, great crime story, loved it, five out of five stars, you know you got a good author. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. Nat Williams here with us and the name of the book is Fire Blight. And it's one of those that when you start reading you don't want to put down. Absolutely. We love crime shows yes. and, and the, the true, true crime shows. Right. Yes. And uh, that's kind of like it. how we'll you've it. done this book. Exactly. How'd yeah. you get this idea? Kind of put all those shows we saw together? And well, I, uh, the idea probably came about 20 years ago. I just had a very basic idea of a basic pl plot. And I put something down on the computer, maybe 15, 20 pages, it never went anywhere. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and I, I, I got to thinking about it more recently and I thought, you know, just as a bucket list thing, I'm going to see if I can write a novel. Yeah. I'm a writer, but I'm a, I'm okay. a journalist and I write stories, short stories. Sure. Shorter, you know. And so um, I thought, well, I'm just going to, I'm just going to see if I can do it just, just to satisfy myself. And after I got serious about it, things started coming together. Yeah. It was still a lot of work, but it was a labor of love and really enjoyed it. How long does it take? Yeah. Uh, well, probably in earnest, maybe a year and a half or so, a couple of years. You were very descript. I mean, you're detailing some conversations yes. in here. So obviously what people don't realize when you, when you take on an endeavor like this, there's a lot of work that goes into it, the backstory and making sure yes. that you don't mess it up, even though it's loosely based maybe. Talk about the importance of that to you, getting yeah, it right. Yeah, that's true. This is a uh, murder mystery and police procedural and also a, a tri uh, drama, a tr you know, trial. Sure. Uh, drama. And so I was concerned about making it uh, authentic. And so I turned to some people that I know, <clears throat> a lawyer and who used to be a state's attorney, now a criminal defense attorney, okay. and also a former sheriff. <clears throat> and I'd run some things by them and said, is this stupid or could this happen? You know, and then what about this? And so I did a lot of that. And of course, internet is wonderful. You right. did, did a lot of research uh, right. on the internet for I love because you use Southern Illinois spots yeah. and, and uh, hence the apple, mm -hmm. you know, and the peaches inside, and I love that part. The orchards and, yeah. and such. Um, I, and I agree, I mean, you changed some names just to protect folks here. Um, let's, without giving it away, we know that there's myrtle, murder scandal and a mystery in a farm community, but let's give them just enough that they're gonna definitely wanna buy this book. Okay, well, it starts out, there's a uh, brutal murder of a doctor and his wife. Oh, yes, yes. And uh, that's where it all begins. There's no murder weapon on the scene. Uh, and they couldn't understand why in the world anybody would do this. There was no robbery. And so it starts from there and there's a, uh, the sheriff goes on a lot of goose chases. He mm -hmm. gets led on a lot of directions and as he pursues uh, suspects in this case. And, and also there's an FBI agent in the area. He's working on something separate that has some of the same people involved. And so they end up having to decide how to work together to solve this crime, both crimes. And uh, that's part of the interesting part of it. It's, it's sort of uh, the two characters, the sheriff and the FBI agent, yeah. learning how to work together. No right, doubt, right, you know, so. yeah, I got that from it. Um, yeah. is, what's next for you? Do you enjoy this type? Did this wear you out? Do you want a, a lighter topic? What, what's next? No, I'm doing another one. You are, okay. Uh, well, you know what? Is it gonna be um, fictional too? Yes. Okay. Um, so with all that's going on these days, you ever thought about picking up on a, a true story? I have thought it? about that. I have thought about that. And uh, I may do that sometime because that fascinates Cause this, me. You know what? It, this reads just like an Anne Rule book. Seriously. <laughs> and I, I could see you doing that. Well, I, what I picked up is, is you're already, you're influenced by the day's happenings anyway. So there's probably, you know, some inferences there. Mm -hmm. um, it is interesting though when you watch some of these TV shows and you're like, wait a second, I remember that case, but yeah. yes. some of it has changed or whatever. And I, I think people really, really enjoy that and, and they're entertained by that. And this this was a, a, a great mm -hmm. read. Uh, we want people to find you. What's the best way to, to reach out and, and to get this, this book if they're uh, well, interested? Well, there's a, there's a few ways. Uh, the, probably the easiest way is just to go on Amazon. It's okay. for sale on Amazon. Okay. Just uh, put in Fire Blight novel and uh, it's for sale there and 
it's at uh, I think Weeping Willow and Bitten, and or you can just go to the we have a Facebook page, okay. Firefly the novel, and you can we can take care of it there locally. You know, so. this would be perfect for like a ladies' book club. Oh you know, sure, sure. <laughs> no, maybe I'm, maybe not a maybe not a teen, a younger adult, but definitely for the older absolutely. older group, especially yeah. those like myself who are on those twenty twenties and date lines every yeah, night like I am. I love and those. I'm available for the after read meeting. There. <laughs> Oh, how about that to get the questions and answers? Up. Nat Williams, no doubt, good read. Uh, Fire blight, pick it up. Uh, it's worth it. We appreciate you. And Thank hey, you. come back on the second one, all right? Well, I will. I will. I promise. Okay. Thank you. And we'll be right back. Coming up on the spiel. So this rice, did we did we go over that? Because this is an art. Let me tell you something. We were instructed not to touch this pot. I think you saw it a couple of times. Not to raise the lid. And there have been times that people in Chef's Kitchen would raise the lid and he would have to throw it out because he knows that someone would peek or whatever. So what what is the secret and, and, and why do you know just how long it needs to cook and what's in there? Coming up later in the show. Stop now. Give me a break. One of the best places to watch a sunset is the beach. High in the hills of Shawnee Forest Country are remnants of an ancient sea. Garden of the Gods offers trails for backpacking, horseback riding, or thrill seeking, and some of the most extraordinary rock formations in the Midwest. When you can watch the sunset from the shore of a 320 million year old beach, that's how you'll know you're in Shawnee Forest Country. To find out more, visit southernmostillinois.com. This will give you the ability to chew and eat just like you have a third set of teeth. Over the course of the past 20 years, I became trained in implant dentistry. Those surgeries can be very invasive. IV sedation is an ideal thing for those patients that are having more invasive procedures. The doctor needs to be well trained. You need to have a trained staff to get through their appointments smoothly and comfortably. See the leader in dental implants and sedation dentistry, Hughes Dental Arts Center. One thing that I do tell people is I think you want a bank that's gonna invest in you, not just to get your business. Our philosophy is really to help people create a plan, building relationships with people, not really to sell a product. We have 12 locations in Southern Illinois. We're gonna make sure that we're also investing into the schools, that we're also investing back into the community. Marion, Carbondale, Benton, Johnson City, Mounds, Metropolis, El Dorado, Harrisburg, Vienna, Galatia. We know that the customer success is our success. So my name is Elizabeth Michaels. I'm a registered dietitian nutritionist and a certified diabetes educator. I work with people um, doing nutrition counseling, diabetes education, planning, people who have weight concerns, and basically anyone who has a chronic condition that has nutrition implications. Once I receive a referral from your primary care physician, we will set up an appointment, and the first thing I like to do is just kind of get to know someone, and then we come up with a plan collaboratively on how we want to reach uh, those goals. So my approach is very non-judgmental. It's collaborative. It's individualized. I see my job as someone who wants to partner with the patient and with their goals. I'm not here to tell people what to do. I'm here to help them achieve their, uh, their health goals um, in as much as nutrition plays a role in that. So I'm from Carbondale, Illinois. Lived here my whole life. Graduated from CCHS in 2016. I went through the Garwin program in 2015. I did a summer at Missouri S&T in Rolla, Missouri. Uh, it was a summer research academy, so six weeks working in an engineering lab. So at the time, didn't really know what I was interested in doing, but I uh, knew that engineering was something I was interested in. So just kind of went after that, get some exposure. And it was a really good experience, you know, getting to live on my own and now also get that experience working in an engineering lab. It really helped me set my course for what I want to do. So now I'm a rising senior at the University of Notre Dame. I'm studying electrical engineering. So I've had a really good experience there. And the Garden program definitely helped me get on that path. You know, a huge part of that has helped me learn how to be professional, how to work. And that's really helped me because I've had a lot of good experiences in clubs at Notre Dame. I'm an officer on the Notre Dame rocket team. So we interact with a lot of companies for that. I've also had an internship with Procter & Gamble. And then this coming summer, I'm interning with GE Aviation. And so I just sort of stem all those back to just learning how to be professional and getting interested in engineering from back in the Garwin program. They're donating thousands of dollars to people getting to these programs, which is huge. A lot of people that I was friends with didn't really even look at these programs as an option because it was like, there's a price tag to it. I would definitely encourage everyone to look at applying because it's just, it's been a huge help for me in college and also just in growing as a person.
find out more about the Spiel or even watch past episodes, visit spieleon.com. We are spieling it in our kitchen, and that is made possible every week by Prairie Farms, mm -hmm. um, a group that we appreciate, we love. And I tell you what, we are now big fans of the chef that you see here, and noted chef um, Adam Cologne. Thank you so much for being here. And, you know, I mean, look at him. He's just, he's uh, got a lot going on. He's you know a what? decorated guy. I have been watching him work, and apparently he's done a lot of things in his his small time here on earth, huh? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> only 35 years, so. Uh, awesome, awesome. Uh, well, tell us your story, who bit. are you? Um, well, my name is Adam Cologne, and uh, I'm originally from Aurora, Illinois. Okay. Um, I born my mom, uh, single mother, so I learned a lot of my cooking from her. Nice, um, nice. mama. But, I, but then again, I got a lot of my uh, tradition and stuff from my Puerto Rican side of the family. Okay. Uh, Cause that's the kind of food I'll be cooking for you guys today. Is that nice. your specialty? Yes, yes. I, I mean, I like to call it, uh, it's Spanish, Spanish food because it's not That's just it. Puerto Rican. I like okay. doing tacos and enchiladas and tamales and all those things as Aww. well. So well, recently are, you're, we, we know that you have a big social media following just because, you know, sometimes it's it's important in life. It's always important in life to pay it forward. And, and you said there's a... I've been a time in your life where you were actually feeding people out of your house, yeah, and, and that's yeah. really cool. That'll get you a lot of friends real quick. Yeah, you? absolutely, absolutely, and a lot of enemies too. Yeah. Because, you, know, <laughs> you know, sometimes you're not allowed to do certain things, right, and that's right, why we right. had to stop doing that and and uh, go for what we're doing now. So that's awesome. And and recently recognized um, being part of a very cool group. I'm gonna let you tell us about that. Yeah, uh, the, the, men, the men's cooking for Casa. Uh, it's a great organization. Is it like a uh, hundred men? It was, uh, I want to say about 60 of us chefs. Okay. Uh, it was about four or 500 people there uh, who actually came and tasted our food. And you won it? Uh, I, I did not win the big prize. No, uh, Jennifer Carmona, uh, I don't know if you guys are aware of her. She's supposed to do a show with you guys, actually. Okay. And she's a big reason why I'm here today, so thank you to Jennifer. Awesome, thank um, you. She, her and her husband actually won a, a big portion of it, the entree okay. dish, okay. which that was what I was part of. But I was one of the best new chefs there. and. Uh, she, I bet you your line was the longest. Uh, it was. And you know what? I, I learned from it. Uh, I won't do chicken tacos again. That, oh, was, a that was a lot of work. That was a lot of Yeah, a lot of work. More we'll do a soup. We'll so just probably, be a nice yeah, little Yeah, soup or some yeah. kind of roll up. The yeah. guy next to me had a, the tortilla roll ups that were amazing. So, <laughs> that's, great. Uh, that's what I'll probably do something like that next time. Cause, well, you already got the chicken going here yeah, in the pan, absolutely. and I can tell that you've got something on it. So, let's just talk about um, yeah. if people want to break this down in their kitchen and, and try to sure, replicate well, it. A lot of Puerto Rican dishes, in fact, this is what I mean. So frito is what we make. It's uh, olives, capers, garlic, mm. uh, green peppers, red peppers, cilantro, and olive oil. Nice. It's a base. So it's going to be a base for my rice that's cooking. So don't open that. That's not ready yet. Okay. okay. So that's yes, going to be the base for that rice. And then I'd like to put a lot of my meat in my sofrito. Did you well. have it marinating? In yeah, second? absolutely. It was okay. just, that was a sofrito that was, okay. we had it marinating in. Okay. And I, I seasoned it with a little bit of adobe. It's just a seasoning that we use. Uh, Dobe, Dobe, that's it. Puerto that's Rican it. Uh, culture. So, okay. uh, and then this here, once we cook that off, we'll chop that up. I'll make a special tortilla. This is kind of one of my biggest sellers when I was doing the food from home with my nice. chicken taco. Nice. That's why I chose How to make that. How old were you then when you did that? Oh, that was about three or four years ago. I was, uh, I was working at Rare. Um, I was a morning cook there because I have my kids, so I couldn't work nights, which is huh? a busy time. Great um, restaurant in, in Mount Vernon, absolutely. Illinois. Absolutely. Shout yes. out to uh, Chef Buddy, man, mm -hmm. a good friend of mine. Uh, so I was working there, but I wasn't getting all the hours that I needed. So okay. I uh, mm -hmm. decided to start cooking, and actually Chef Buddy helped me out with that as well. He let me able to order some ingredients and buy some ingredients. Nice. Very nice. And I actually uh, kind of took off from there. I was actually going to work for chefs preparing the kitchen and stuff like that for them and then leaving about 11 and then about 1 30 i was taking off and i there had you a, go. a line around my house on 24th your street. own gig That's yeah awesome. it was it was fun it was definitely fun it was busy well, yeah what we don't see here are cans i can tell that you like to cook fresh with yes, fresh ingredients yes Is absolutely that the key? absolutely that's the only way i cook mm. i wish i just took it out of my garden but next time yeah uh, what do you make in there this is pico de gallo okay. oh i'm making a mess there it's excuse okay. me no you're good uh, it's just peppers and onions and uh, cilantro and tomatoes, okay. a little bit of lime. It's the topper for the taco. Wonderful. So yeah, that'll, that'll go with that. And this cooked chicken should be almost done. What kind of peppers? Uh, jalapeno peppers. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I deseeded them, they'll be deseeded, so they're not very spicy. Oh, you do? Take yeah. the seeds out, okay. Well, I mean, when I'm at home for myself, I don't, but. Right. Uh, do you like it spicy? Yeah, I like it spicy. I, I, in my, in my, my older years, I'm 35 now, I've learned that I can't eat too much, too much of it, but. 
Yeah. I still do. <laughs> well, you've, you've talked about some of your aspirations and what you want to do. I mean, you truly see yourselves um, being mobile and taking off in maybe some sort of a food truck yeah. and, and seeing the, the country. Yeah, that's the plan. Me and my business partner uh, are actually going on a trip uh, to Atlanta to, to talk to some investors and, okay. and get uh, the money drummed up to get a food truck and then hopefully off of that one after a couple of years just continue to build that's with different platforms in that, you know what I mean, start with me food truck with, with uh, wings and tacos and those type mm, of things and then go into even uh, diet food like keto diet we want to do something yeah, like sure. that where it's just sure. particularly based off of that so yes. uh, we have lots of plans uh, okay. unfortunately with plans you got to have the money so that's kind of if I had money I would be jumped on would, I'm, listen I, mean, I hear somebody out there who there, hears that they are they're already watching they're like what's that number okay yeah definitely so give you, me a call you, you've got some California roots you're here in Illinois yeah, where yeah. ultimately would you like to wind up where do you where do you feel the best when most of my children and my family are in Illinois so I'll, okay. I'll probably this would be my home base okay. uh, the plan is to uh pretty much follow like the fairs and those, those type of things yeah, through, nice. through Illinois during the season. Yeah, nice. and once the, yeah, and then once the season's over, we want to follow, I mean, still follow kind of the fair aspect and okay. go down to- You know what, just go south. My, yep, exactly, go to Florida, time. Miami, Texas, Texas yep. uh, Arizona, Texas. all those hot places. What's so, that story? They say that there's a guy that has a hot dog truck and he goes to the Texas State Fair every year. Yep. And he sells his hot dogs, and he makes like $150,000, $200,000 during that one event. That's all he does all year. He stays there it home is. the rest of the time. It's a lot of hot dogs. Not me. I hit that. Yeah, we, and that's what we want to do. We, we want to keep going. We don't want to stop it. Just awesome. to, and, I mean, for the next few years, of course. I mean, and then I eventually we'll let the money make itself, and we can sit at home and just travel that's with it. our family. Yeah, so. You have a fleet of trucks. Yeah, like, where exactly. Are you going that's today? the plan. That's yeah. the plan. Yeah, good, good deal. Already they're ready to come running, aren't they? Uh, they are. It's Get so back good. on the Look cameras. At Look at this. We're going to show you how we did this here. Good stuff. Chihuahua this cheese. This is Chihuahua cheese. Chihuahua. And this is a corn Chihuahua. tortilla. Uh, a lot of people like flour tortillas. I like doing authentic with the corn. I wonder why they named it after a dog. Uh, it, it's actually, I can get a little history on it, actually. Okay. It's actually made, and don't quote me on this. Don't Google it because I may be wrong. But somebody, somebody told me once that it's made in Chihuahua, Mexico. That's right. That's okay. the reason why. For, that's what it is. Right that's there. what it right. I think you said that earlier. Yeah. It is what that's it is. Let's leave right. it. We said it, so it's the I'm truth. I'm saying on the spiel, it is the truth. <laughs> and so I'm just gonna melt this cheese on here. Um, I like to make my taco because with corn tortillas, they break apart. So this rice, did we did we go over that? Because this is an art. Let me tell you something. We were instructed not to touch this pot. I think you saw it a couple of times. Not to raise the lid. And there have been times that people in Chef's Kitchen would raise the lid and he would have to throw it out because he knows that someone would peek or whatever. So what what is the secret and, and, and why do you know just how long it needs to cook and what's in there? I, I mean, um, I just learned this. This is the way I learned how to cook it. And, okay. and when my father taught me how to cook uh, Puerto Rican rice, it was always... 10 minutes boiling and 15 minutes off. Okay. Uh, and if you open it, then some of the rice gets cooked, some of it's not cooked. And okay. if they call it in Puerto Rican, they call it a, a mogo. I it mean, it's kind of mushy, kind of crunchy. So that's nice. how you can tell. So if it tastes kind of mushy, kind of crunchy, somebody opened somebody. it. So. <laughs> and you're in trouble. So yeah, but uh, I think we did good. I think it's a uh, pretty good rice. And Is actually, that brown beans. What? Those are gandules, which are pigeon peas. Ooh. Okay. And authentically, uh, you're supposed to have olives and uh, this thing called right. salt pork in there as well. I don't eat a lot of pork, so I don't add that to my rice. Okay. Um, and then the olives, I just, just forgot to bring them. So okay. it's still good without it. Because <laughs> yeah, there's good. olives in the sofrito as well, and we make sure we see it like that. Okay. Right. So yeah, everything is done. We'll plate this last plate, right. and everybody can go ahead and Sample. try it and tell me what they think. Well, thanks so much for being on. Absolutely. Thanks for your service. I, I see that you're wearing you. yeah. your hat and representing the Marines there. Yeah. Uh, did you ever do any cooking there in the service? I did or? not do any cooking. Uh, I mean, when we were in Iraq, we cooked sardines and we didn't have anything else to eat. Or MREs, oh. we ate those. So, uh, Is there many ways you can do never, that? Yeah, yeah, never never cooked for the Marine Corps, though. So, uh, But if, if you guys wouldn't mind me saying uh, uh, a Marine that was in my, my battalion when we were in, a really good friend of mine actually uh, passed away. Okay a year ago in March. And unfortunately, we all just found out yesterday. Okay. Oh, um, so, yeah. so yeah, yeah, no, yeah, it's, uh, I mean, he was struggling, but I just want to make sure people, I know it's not a political show or anything like that, but we make sure we take care of our vets. Amen. Amen. Um, Cause we don't, uh, we don't take care of our vets enough and, and we really need to because mm -hmm. they gave the ultimate sacrifice. And once again, another one has uh, succumbed to their so mental sad. issues and things. Reach so, out, reach so out. definitely, cook them, yeah, cook them something. Absolutely. Them so if anybody house. out there needs anything, uh, definitely let me know. Don't ever hesitate, uh, Marine or not. 
uh, we don't want to lose anymore. So. Chef, you're a pleasure. Just yeah. a joy. Thank, Thank you so much. Can we ha I mean, let's just be friends. Absolutely. Right? Absolutely. 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 I don't know it'll be any good. But Every day or two. Yeah, so we're going we're gonna to try this. And again, thank you so much. If people want to find Chef. more, they're going to follow you online. You yes. already have a big following. Yep. What's the best way? Just your, your uh, name? Facebook or, or Instagram. Uh, Chef Adam Colon on okay. Instagram. Where I do a lot of my food stuff. My Facebook is more C-O-L-O-N. That's okay. Chef underscore Adam Colon uh, at, on Instagram, of course. And and uh, that's where you get all my food and stuff like mm -hmm. that. And then I mm -hmm. have a private Facebook page that I can add you to if you guys want to just reach out and we'll Fabulous. go ahead and add you. Fabulous. We do, we do catering on the side and meal prep and, and so. Godspeed, uh, wonderful stuff, thank you. And I need a personal chef, I'm all here. All right, we'll thank be you. right back. Coming up on The Spiel. Your, uh, <laughs> your music is amazing. Yeah. Thank you. Really deep. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, it's all real life, you know, it's all real experiences and uh, just genuine, you know. I don't think I could write anything that wasn't. One of the most important things about IV sedation is it helps break the cycle for patients that are afraid to come to the dentist. It allows them to sleep, to relax and be comfortable through the procedure. It's a great service. We've been providing it for years. Sedation has been a critical part of our practice and an important service that we can provide for our patients. It's the greatest thing I ever did for myself. I have my smile back. Come see Dr. Hughes at Hughes Dental Arts Center. My name is Christy Frazier Moore and I am the VP of Mortgage Sales here with the Bank of Missouri. In high school I played volleyball and I loved the sport and I had the opportunity to come to Three Rivers and play volleyball and I received a full ride scholarship for that. So it was a win-win for me getting a, an education. I had no idea what I wanted to be or what I really wanted to do in life. However, I think about all the things that led to get me to here and Three Rivers plays a huge piece in that. And the things that I can really, really pinpoint in on are the people between my fellow peers and students, some of them that are still my best friends today, and the teachers. I mean, they go above and beyond to help their students. They just made a huge difference and impact on, on me as a person, my character. So what I think I started developing at Three Rivers was public speaking and those business classes that I really, really liked and honed in on. You know, Three Rivers, it's just one of those places, I really think the school itself is just primed to help kids be great and move forward in their success, the programs, and really the value that the college has. I mean, I would compare it to any school in the United States with the, the education, the value, and what the kids really get out of it. I am a TRC success story because I think I'm a rock star in my own mind, but I love how it gave me a great foundation to start my career here in Popper Bluff. Three Rivers College, success starts here. My name is Christopher Pence, and I am majoring in secondary education. I chose Three Rivers because it was a close drive for me and the tuition fees were just a lot better than the other schools around. I've always wanted to be a teacher. When I was deciding, I just kept thinking back to that when I was going through school about how great I thought that that would be something that I would want to do. As a veteran of the United States Air Force, I have several benefits that allowed me to come to the college, which uh, was really great. The teachers at Three Rivers are amazing. They really go above and beyond what I was expecting a college professor to do. Three Rivers College, success starts here. My name is Ian Kinzel and I'm, I just graduated from Carmendale Community High School. I have worked with the Garwin Family Foundation for three years. Freshman year, I went to the Michigan Math and Science Scholars to study dy dynamics. Sophomore year, I went to study structural engineering at the Stanford Summer Institutes program. Junior year, I went to the St. Louis Students and Teachers as Research Scientist Program to do research in materials engineering. I like trying new things. I knew I wanted to do something within science, math, and engineering, but not sure which one of those fields to pursue. When I'm going to college, a lot of it is going to be still figuring out what I want to do. I'm planning on going into mechanical engineering, and that's why I'm going to study, because I'm interested in engineering, but I'm not sure quite what field in mechanical provides a good area for me to try one field or another and move between them, the engineering fields fairly easily. I would say that I would not um, immediately dismiss your opportunities just because you don't think you're very academic. It's, they don't only look at academics, they also look at arts and music. 
you should really take the opportunity that is made available to you. The Spiel presents You're On, 100% original new music. Hey, this is Jake and this is Thrown Away.
Hi, I'm Kim Langley. I'm the program director of the Occupational Therapy Assistant Program here at Southern Illinois Collegiate Common Market. And occupational therapy can be in so many different areas. This profession is extremely creative. We profile our clients. We like to find out what makes them tick, and that's what we use. I chose occupational therapy because it's more holistic and it really looks at the whole person. It's, it's been a great experience for me and the teachers are all amazing. You know that you're going to be accepted everywhere in the nation. We want them to be the best when they leave. Today we're talking about Rolling Meadows and it's an unusual property because I'm going to call it a, a sort of an eight minute wonder. It's about eight minutes from Jack City State Park. It's about eight minutes from all the local lakes. It's about eight minutes from SIU. It's about five minutes from the mall. It offers probably one of the best combinations of residential and, and rural living. We've got about 900 square feet, heat pumps uh, with built-in office, two bedrooms big enough for for king of queen beds, and so that makes an unusual property. Woodruff Management is the exclusive rental agent for Rolling Meadows. Just check our website, woodruffmanagement.com. You'll find us there. Click and you're in. When it comes to making the decision to build, you don't want to trust your investment with just any contractor. What we build should be there for many years to come. We've built simple, open-sided structures to homes, businesses, churches, event centers, different sizes, different colors, different options. We have a long list of happy customers that we have done work for. Call Brian Newcomb at Newcomb Construction. Give us a call or visit us online at newcombconstruction.com. We're always doing something, it feels like, to solve somebody's problem and help somebody with what it is that they need. And automobile accidents, you know, work-related injuries, malpractice claims, nursing home abuse claims, insurance disputes of all kinds. We only charge if we recover and then we take a portion of what we recover. I was born and raised in Southern Illinois. I've coached their kids in Little League Baseball. I've coached their kids in flag football. When you see those people in a store, you have to be able to look at them and know that you did a good thing to help them. Being in a small community, that's what you have to do. Prairie Farms presents Did You Know with Chef Rob. Hi, Chef Rob here. We all need 25 to 30 grams of protein with each meal, and milk really delivers breakfast protein. It helps with energy and focus, keeps you feeling fuller longer, maintains bone health, maintains healthy weight, and also helps with lean muscle mass. So fuel your morning with protein and start your day with Prairie Farms milk. Spring is a special time of year in Shawnee Forest Country, when temperatures rise and rain falls in just the right amount to create the conditions for magic to happen. The elusive morel mushroom is highly sought after by those looking for the thrill of the hunt and celebrated by those who appreciate it for its taste. Today we're cooking a uh, veal chop with morel cream sauce. When you can embark on an adventure to find morels in the wild and experience the delicacy of tasting them for yourself, that's how you'll know you're in Shawnee Forest Country. Morel season is coming. To learn more, visit southernmostillinois.com. One of my segments is You're On because being a musician, I love to hear others' music and meeting others for the first time. That's right. Jake Golden, You Are On. You're On. How do you feel? How do you feel? Feel good. Good. Okay. Feel good. Excellent. Not good. nervous anymore. Your, uh, your music <laughs> is amazing. Yeah. Thank you. Really deep. You. Yeah, it, uh, it's all real life. You know, it's all real experiences and uh, just genuine. You know, I don't think I could write anything that wasn't, you know. Okay, the first one, who, what was her name? Uh, Lowdown. No, what was her oh, name? Her name? Uh-huh. You said, well, yeah. there's an you said it's, <laughs> there's always a, oh, his face yeah, yeah, got yeah. red. Yeah. <laughs> no. We'll discuss that on the later You don't want to give her show. name? Nah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> so talk about your journey in music, um, you know, where you where you came from and, and the evolution there of, of where you are today. Uh, I'm from Shawneetown, Illinois. So, uh. Started there just playing uh, covers and stuff, you know, and playing in bars and stuff, and uh, started writing my own music, you know, and I played guitar when I was younger, you know, I was like six or seven or so, and wow. just kind of, because my mom sang and uh, family members, you know, played piano and stuff, you know, and uh, just slowly started to pick up that hobby, you know, and it turned into doing it, you know, for full time for a couple of years. How many songs you got written, you think? Uh, probably 
30 or 40 That's probably awesome. mm -hmm. but not all of them are you know they're not all presentable right now but i'd say 20 of them are ready to roll are well, you getting ready to do a little project uh yeah i'm uh, right now uh i've actually got a song coming out uh next friday i believe uh, another song and it's That's called exciting. Uh, Peace of mind. It's another. It's a different type of song than my normal stuff, but okay. um, alternative rock. Kind alternative of stuff, rock. You know? Okay, that's that's the way you would describe. Because I know your mama's country. Yeah, 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 and I love country too. You know, I just uh, and I enjoy playing country, yeah. but uh, it just seems that everything comes out grungeish or alternative rock. And that's in the okay because you know? your stuff's good. It is really it is. good. People Appreciate are going to want to find more. So, what's the best way to, to follow you and, and know where you're going to be playing next? That type uh, of thing. Facebook at uh, Jake Golden slash J A G, which is my initials, okay. and that's what my logo is. It's just Jag. a J A G. Jag, yeah, that's it. All right. <laughs> and uh, uh, YouTube, just type in Jake Golden or uh, Spotify. Pretty much any social media. Just Google or, him. Yeah, Google him. All right, he's there. The next time you come, park your bus way over there. <laughs> yeah. Is that that's, your, that's, that's yours your bus. out there? Wow. No, yeah. Play yeah. along. Fancy I hope. stuff right there. <laughs> yeah, All it right. is. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be right back. wanted to do something that would help people. Medical lab tech is one of the best kept secrets. Surgical technology, it's very hands-on. They are programs that are sponsored by John A. Logan College and Shawnee Community College. Southern Illinois Collegiate Common Market here at this location since 1996. We are a part of those two colleges. If students are interested, they can contact their local campuses, either Shawnee Community College or John A. Logan College. The majority have a job before they even graduate. We are monitoring all of your preventative health. I'm Marlissa Boyles. I'm a nurse practitioner here at Clay Medical Center, which is one of our 11 clinics out of the Christopher Rural Health Planning Corporation. We have implemented PCMH, Patient Care Medical Home. We work in collaboration with many specialists. This helps in tracking what you need for your age and any preventative screening. We would love to have you here in our family. Visit us at crhpc.org. I think the biggest reason why I chose law school is because I wanted to have the maximum positive impact I could. But I thought through law I could have a wider reach, potentially influence public policy and have a greater opportunity to serve people in many capacities. We've handled cases throughout the entire state of Illinois, helping people solve problems that they might have. One of the best things about my practice is the relationships that I develop with my clients. Regardless of your legal need, call us. There's always live music somewhere in Nashville. We want you to get out and hear it. Experience all the best that Music City has to offer while staying in comfort and luxury when you choose a vacation rental from Playlist Properties. With luxury properties and accommodations in every part of the city to suit any size group, we make it convenient to step out and make the most of your visit. At the heart of Playlist Properties is our passion and excitement for all things Nashville. Our mission is to connect guests with their Nashville home for an unforgettable Music City experience. Check our website to see a long list of themed luxury vacation rentals and find the one that's perfect for your getaway or business trip. No matter what brings you to Nashville, stay with Playlist Properties. You're watching The Spiel. How about That's that That's a good show? one. That's that is a good, good one, yeah. And you know, I just want to say one more fact, like I begin the show with. I got one more to tell you. Okay. Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram yeah. are banned in China. Wow. How about that? So next time you're on, uh, what's the call, where they call a friend? Right. And any of those questions come up? Right. You know the answer. I know the answer. Yeah, that's okay. good. You know, here's the thing. The problem with those social platforms is, man, they want you to be the best you you can be. I mean, we are now inundated with, I mean, there's every way you can work out. There's no excuse at this point. They're like, okay, here's how you do it in the bathroom. You know, if you need to work out in front of your mirror, here's what you work out. You're going to look like this girl if you do this and that and the other. And 
I, every day I'm like, that looks good. I'm going to do that. Do you try them all? I take screenshots okay. and I'm like, you know what? I'm going to get around to this one. This what's, looks like, what's the bathroom one? I, I'm dying well, to know. Well, probably, you know, on the seat and then you can do some of this kind of stuff. I mean, they just have it figured oh, out anywhere. It, yeah, it's just, it's going to be great. But okay, um, you, you know, we talk about um, not only stalking people, but then, you know, people of interest will pop up in our feeds. It's like, oh, I wonder what they're doing. Yeah. Um, Adam Wainwright. Yes. You familiar? Yes. Okay. Um, very cool. I, you know, I guess you just take for granted when a person's in their field of interest and, and you know you know him as baseball, but he's so much more. A family guy, uh, a Christian, uh, started this new year, and actually he's done it four times, walking with Wayno. You can read the Bible through with Adam Wainwright, and every day he sends you an email, and it's really, really cool. Oh, I mean, because he puts wow. it in, like, his terms, and he's just a cool guy, and I've thoroughly enjoyed that. I've been doing that with him, and he's going a little fast for me because okay. maybe it's his fourth time, and I got to slow down, and I'm like, whoa, let's Adam, back it up. I know you're in spring training, yeah. you slower down. Man, it's it was it's good stuff though. But if you haven't wow. seen that, check it out. So. How do you get there? How, what's the you know? Um, well, he popped up in one of my feeds, and I, I clicked on him, and um, I learned that he that he wanted to do it. He had this great message, and he goes, you know, I've. I, I wanna challenge you to do it. I'm gonna challenge myself to do it. And there's a level of accountability when you get on social because it's like, they're counting on you to, you know, sure. you, you gotta follow along, you gotta right. post. Right. Although I was late getting my first. Anyway. So you knocked out or? It's in, um, no, he's, he's there, it comes every day. And he says, you know, go at your own pace. But um, yeah, he's, he's going, he's I going. I love that, I just love that. Very cool. So I you should, that. you know, you, we all talk about small groups and wanting to get people together and stuff, but there's such a huge platform. Maybe we should use it for, for good and things like that and a discussion. And you know, it just lets you know that everybody's approachable. Everybody has a story. I love That's that. why we do this show, right? And if you have a story, get a hold of us. Yeah. Stacy at spielon.com. She She's the good. one that put together this terrific show today. Oh, she always, always. Stace, we love you. Without Stacy Pisoni, there is no spiel. That's right. right. Okay. As a matter of fact, stay tuned because next week we have an incredible show. Also. Yes. All right. What's our word of the day? Confusion. <laughs> no, that's that's a lot. I, that, I know that one, um, so we don't need that one. What is um, what is it? You do, do you know how perfect our words have been lately, though? They've been good. Like, very hey, fitting. Hey, what did we use when uh, Very you were fitting. Gone, miss girl. me. Miss me. Miss me. No, there's three <laughs> syllables. Bewilderment. We like this. Yes. Euphoric. Eufor that was that's how you felt when I was gone? Yeah. Because that's how I felt when I was away. I was no. very, I was euphoric, in a euphoric state. We were pretty euphoric. Um, yeah, it was, it was really great. I was actually down in uh, Costa Rica. Yeah. You know what? The people there, and I learned something. Um, Pura Vida. You ever heard of that? No. Pura Vida. Okay, you got to be careful because if you say it the wrong way, you just called somebody a bad word. Okay. But Pura Vida, it just pura? means... Pura? Pura. It's P-U-R-A, uh, B-I-D-A, I believe. Pura Vida means hello, goodbye, have a great day, everything's wonderful. That. Pura Vida. Well, how about... Uh, you like that better than bewilderment? A feeling yes. of being perplexed? Pura, because it means Pura goodbye. Vida. It means, yeah. Pura Vida. Pura. Well, be oh. careful because you just called somebody a bad man. That, that Pura Vida is a bad word. Pura Vida? Yeah. Shh. Pure. You gotta go pure. 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 That's right. It means so many things and um, wonderful people down in Costa Rica. They are. All right. We'll be uh, broadcasting from there soon, hopefully. Uh, yeah. I was down there working, working it out, babe. Did you work it out? Are you excited? I'm excited. But right. it, well, I won't go where you posted the alligators. The alligators. Swimming. Okay. Keep your hands and feet inside the ride at all times. <laughs> all right. We'll see you next week. It's all this world is cracked to be Turn your books to pages 509 Another cold barrel starts to sing
best friend's blood has stained my clothes Oh no, 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 no And it seems that the damage is done A number two pencil for a gun Oh no, 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 no Doesn't feel like this is over It's only just began Had so much fun being sober And getting tattoos on my hands Doesn't feel like this is over It's only just began Had so much fun being Getting tattoos on my hands No, no, no Hey, yes. It doesn't feel like Tattoos on my hands Doesn't feel like this is over It's only just began Had so much fun being sober And getting tattoos on my hands There's something charming about wintertime in Shawnee Forest Country, from snow-covered trails and creeks rushing with meltwater, to local food spots and antiquing. Or maybe getting cozy by the fire at your new favorite B&B is more your speed. But when winter can't slow your roll and cabin fever is a good thing, that's how you'll know you're in Shawnee Forest Country. To find out more, visit southernmostillinois.com. My name is Taylor McCann. I'm born and raised in Southern Illinois. I'm doing general civil practice, uh, workers' compensation, personal injury, estate planning, wills, trusts, probates. Clients that we get with workers' comp and personal injury, insurance companies are going to try and take advantage of it. So my job then is to come in and make sure we get them fair settlement. Our goal is to have people return to us and making sure that everybody leaves satisfied and happy. And if you need any workers' compensation, personal injury, estate planning, I am by all means willing, able, and thrilled to help you.